<laughs> That's so funny. This lady does not want to be caught. Stop, Nelly, slow down. Oh, they've cornered it. <laughs> you got it, Damon? Wait. Show him. Go show him. Go show him how to open it. Run, Millie. Wait, just a minute, Damon. No, Luke, no. Millie. Okay. Watch out. Don't let all the chickens out. Ready, step, go. There you go. Nice. All right. Good job, everybody. Yeah, take a picture. I know. Yeah. Now I want to go in there and see what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my heavens, it's cold. Want to play with the chickens. It terrifies me to let them do this, but what you've got to teach them, don't let them figure it out themselves. Biggest thing that always worries me is that thing kicking back and ripping out his leg. I had a nephew that uh, that was using the chainsaw and it come back and got him. Didn't hurt him too bad, but it sure scared the crap out of him. I think I definitely need to get some, some chaps for him. Keep going, dude. Sure. Hey, I want you to move your feet apart a little bit. Your feet are in line with that blade and I don't like it. I'm out on the property here, just trying to clear out some brush so you can actually see underneath trees and see three places. You can't tell, but over there in that general direction, and uh, no, you really can't see them. There's a couple of outbuildings, and I'd like to be able to use them, but. I have a question for y'all. What in the heck is this? Now, in Arizona, Arizona, we've got some gnarly mesquite trees with some thorns on them. I mean, we're talking four or five inch thorns on some of those uh, mesquite trees, but I've never seen anything like this. What the heck is this? All right, put it down in the comments. I'd love to know if you guys know what this is. We're out in the Ozarks here. And these are just 
Shoot, I don't know what this is. That looks like that tree is the one. It's gonna hit my, Joey, it's gonna land on my ranger. <laughs> Joey, Joey, do it, do it. It's gonna land on my ranger though. The sawzall's nearly dead. And that little dead stick right there is rotten through and through. Okay. Keep going, keep going. Okay. I think we probably need to change the battery. What do you think? Do we have a battery? <gasps> Whoa! Can I try? Wait, can I try this one? No. No, no, we don't need to cut down big trees. All right. We got the battery changed out. Puke face is headed back over to this tree that he's chopping up. And I believe that that battery is just about as dead as the other one. Yep. Yeah. Hey, we'll have to charge the batteries. Dad, can I try? Okay, <laughs> guys. Let's keep going on our drive. Good morning. We are uh, working on fencing stuff today. Which means that has to come down. We've got... Uh, We've got to make a, about an 8 to 10 foot path all the way down to the bottom of the hill. So you can see right here, we've got a pin. Kind of lines up with that next one. And if I turn a little bit, you can kind of see Johnny way back down over there in the red jacket. So we've got to, like I said, we've got to cut down a mess of trees just so we can get our fencing up. Let's get at it. Still got, uh, oh, I don't know, another seven or eight hundred feet down the hill there to keep going. And then we've gotten this all done. Well, mostly done. We've been sitting here cutting, dropping trees. Ooh, look at that pretty walnut. Isn't that gorgeous? Man, that's pretty. And then, oh, right over here, there was a wild cherry. Oh, let's see, there we go. You really can't see it too well. Anyways. We got uh, nice big trees here. All cut up. My boys have been hauling out all this mess that I've been making. We got another gentleman here that's cutting down everything with me. That's helping put in all the fencing.
And we're just coming through, just cutting everything out. Cutting all these things right off on ground level. See that cedar right there? Isn't that just pretty?